I'm Samantha Sloan, and welcome to Oaks TV. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Monday, October 14th, Day 1, Block A. Today we'll be looking at our presidential debate and our lunch. So for starters, let's go take a look at our lunch. Thank you, that sounds amazing. Now let's go take a look at our presidential debate. Good morning, Dragons. This is the presidential debate for the 2019-2020 school year. This is your president speaking. And here we also have a runner-up, Kevin and the second runner-up, Skyler. Both of them requested a debate with the president because they feel that they have earned my spot. I have granted this opportunity to them, so I will allow them to ask me questions, and I will rebut their questions with a question of my own. So, without further ado, Kevin, you have the floor. He's a little nervous, guys. Just give him a moment. I think that I earned this spot because I've been in the school for several years, and I want to improve some things to the school. I think I earned this spot because I have a lot to prove on top of that. I also know my um, student body very well, and come to that, not a lot of teachers know them. So when you have someone that's about, you know, their grade or their age that, you know, can communicate with no problem, ideas share, because not a lot of students have trust in adults, but when it comes to um, student, then like, you know, they have someone to talk to you and stuff like that. Well, I'm gonna go to Kevin here. He says that he's been in the school for some years now, and he wants to make some changes, and he has some ideas, is the word that he used. Kevin, can you uh, share some of those ideas? I feel that some some people sometimes don't like the lunch there's at. There's in the cafeteria, or they do, but they just want like another snack. And I'm thinking about putting a vending machine in the cafeteria. So you have the money? to equip the school with a vending machine? I could work hard and try to get it. Okay, and you're saying that the staff in the cafeteria doesn't make good food? No, I'm not saying that. That sometimes students, they like it, but they want like a treat. And they sometimes want like chips, chocolate or something like that. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. You've been in the school for some years, right? Yeah. Don't they offer cookies at the lunchroom? Yeah. So wouldn't that be considered a treat? Yeah, but sometimes people want chips. It's not like they sell chips here. If I'm not mistaken, in, in the office, sometimes they do sell chips. No, they sell chocolates. Are you sure? Because I've seen chips, and I personally, as your student body president, have sold chips to the kids that come in there and ask for chips. You see, guys, this goes back to the whole beginning. Well, personally, I haven't seen this. So, yeah. Again, we go back to the beginning. He hasn't seen this, but he's been here for years. I've been here for a few months and know more about this school than Kevin. So guys, do you really wanna put your trust and faith in a person that's been here for years, but yet knows nothing about the school? I think it's the other way around. Now Skyler, you say you know the student body and they have trust in you, they come to you and they speak to you. Have issues been brought to your attention? that adults don't know about? Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me, yes. And how would you combat these issues? How would you deal with them? What would you do as the president of this school? As the president, I would tell them that for those who don't really trust in adults, that it's not my job because I'm not an adult, but um, I could help you put your trust in, into an adult because I also trust adults, so coming from my experience, I can help you and then whatever, whatever issues they have, um, 
depending on what every issues they have, I could like talk to them, you know, and, and then if it ever escalated, that's to the point where we have to bring in dog. It's mandatory no matter what. But for the president, like if they know that I can trust an adult, then they'll be like, okay, so my president trusts an adult, then I should try and trust an adult. Now, I've always been a firm believer in that, man, and that's a great way to try to combat situations at the school. I agree with you 100%. The only issue I see in that is um, normally you want to cut out the middleman. Having too many people hand in the cookie jar, so to speak, is not always a good thing. See, and the thing that I've built in my time here at the school is trust with the students as an adult. And I haven't had an issue where kids are uneasy about coming to me. Actually, I've had multiple issues brought to my attention that have been dealt with without the student body knowing about that. So how would you, as a student body president, control those situations without it becoming a bigger issue? Well, it depends on the situation. There's the situation that could escalate or the situation that it's very small that could escalate. And if it was brought to my attention, then my advice would be is that it's not my place to be in the business or anything else. But what I could tell you is that you should go to uh, one of the staff members and they can handle it for you. Because um, I don't have the power because I'm not, how you say, like, mm, not saying I'm not mature, but I'm not that mature to like be able to own oh, like this and that and this and that. I don't have that kind of experience like staff members do. Oh, okay, so I understand. So what you're saying is you don't have the experience or you're not adequately trained enough to handle a situation that may arise in this school. You guys, you see, this goes back to my number one point between both of these candidates. You have Skylar saying right now that she's not equipped for the position. I am equipped for this position. I have been through de escalation training. So. Hold on, hold on. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I did say that I'm not a grip or whatever like that, but that does not change my point of view. Yeah, I get that um, you are equipped because you're an adult and you've been through this situation. Also on top of that, you're a, a cop. So obviously a cop is supposed to be trained. See, we are not trained like that. We're only here for education, right? That's a valid point, Skylar. I agree with you 100%. You're here for education. So as the student body president, I think that you should focus on your education and leave this to the big people. Don't you agree? Okay, well, it doesn't always have to go to the big people. You should always give a student a chance to shine. The spotlight shouldn't be always on an adult. So you're saying that the presidency of the school is a spotlight that you want to shine, that you want the spotlight? What about the other members of the school? The other members of the school, they obviously have the spotlight. The spotlight is not on one person. The student council is representing something big. It represents the school. It's the, the leaders, the models, you have to represent something to show these kids from kindergarten to my grade to eighth grade, to show them that um, whatever, whatever actions I do, um, positive actions, that in this school, student council do not accept negative actions. And obviously there will be consequences for those actions. On top of that, not like with the, um, the spotlight, the spotlight goes on everybody. It goes on everybody. And it's what would you do as a president to make sure that the spotlight is on the entirety of the school and not just you solely as the president? Because just a moment ago, you said that the spotlight would be on you. Kevin here is a pretty boy. We already know he only wants the spotlight, okay? Hair slicked back, the cute little smile. We want Kevin to be the face of the school. But Isn't not that what are you president. trying to do? Negative. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make a school where everybody could mingle together and be one. 
Whereas with you guys, you want to give a vending machine and you want to say that the staff of the cafeteria serves horrible food. That is I not right. One question, one question. What is your idea for this school? Please tell me. My, oh. idea, my ideas for this school is to make it a fun and energetic learning place where all the kids could be kids, but at the same time learn and understand that there is a time for learning and there is a time for playing. We created as also as myself I'm a part of the morale for the school and being a part of the morale my job is to have things that are in place to make it more fun and energetic for the kids as you so speak not just putting a spotlight on myself but putting a spotlight on the school obviously everyone wants to have fun in the school my idea is changing the girls bathroom because a lot of girls would tell me Oh, the bathroom is boring, you know. I want some coats on the wall. So, because, you know, usually kids are nervous after the test, you know, they want to go use the bathroom or whatever. That's one of my ideas. So, also, how do you plan on implementing that idea with the bathroom? Do you have the funds first, or the means to do that? No, I don't. First, I have to so get... So, who do you the, speak to about that? Where, where, I have to speak to the principal about this before I even take actions to do anything. So, you're making false hopes to the student body that you plan I'm on not changing making false hope. or I making an to, alteration I'm, to the girls' I'm bathroom. Hoping. I'm you're, hoping. But to. you're you're putting your presidency on the fact that you are going to make this change. I didn't say I, was, change, I, I want to make what this What changes change. can you implement as the president right away without having the administration being a part of it. You and Kevin both have unrealistic expectations. Kevin wants to add vending machines. You cannot do that without the administration approval. You want to change up the bathroom. You cannot do that without administration approval. What can you do as the president to give immediate results to the student body of this school? Go Dragons. Okay, um, first of all, I said I want to change something. I didn't say, yeah, I'm going to go and change something. You're not something. answering my question. What immediate changes are you going to do as the student body president that do not need to get implemented through administration? That was my question. To change something has to have administration. Not there are things that you can implement as the president that does not need administration approval. Okay, do you know what? Are you serious right now? Yeah, I'm asking you. Do you of know? Of course I know. Okay, I go. know of many. First of all, the morale of the school. You, as the president, can advise, right? You guys you guys are good with the students of the school, right? Everybody seems to like you guys, right? That's how you got... I guess, because uh, people voted for us. Yeah, a couple votes, not a problem. So, you guys are good with the school, right? So you know what type of things are fun for them. Maybe field day activities or things that you could implement talking to the PE coach or fun Fridays with the teachers. There these, are things, these are things that are already here. Correct. But there are things that you could implement that on a fun Friday you could do. It does it have to be the same thing every Friday. Okay. No, it doesn't. So these are things that I'm asking you. What would you implement immediately? And the silence, folks, dragons, listen to me. The silence from these two goes to show you that they are not adequately equipped for this position. I want to know who are you to tell us that we're not adequately enough exactly. to fill this presidency? Well, well, first of all, I'm not the one telling you that you're not adequately enough equipped. You're showing the dragons that you are not. Well, I'm sorry that we don't have the enough experience or the enough school information and we don't know a lot of things but if you give us a chance to be a president then maybe we can change that opinion of yours over time you know what dragons i've come to a change of heart skylar just spoke words actual true words that should have come from a student body president and at this time I would like to resign from student body president and allow these two the opportunity to be student body president with the assistance of myself. I will not let them go and fail you guys, okay? So I will be assisting them 
in their daily operations here. And I will make sure that they become some of the best student body presidents you have. Thank you guys. You guys have any other words that you would like to say to your classmates? Why, you need, why do we need body? your help? There's such thing, there's something called vice president. Exactly, like I said, I'm stepping but down. You did, but, so you didn't win the, but you didn't win vice president. No, I won president, exactly. So I'm stepping down. But you didn't down. win none of them. Are you sure? Yes, I'm pretty sure. The, uh, what? The votes seem to be miscounted because <laughs> at the end of the day, if we have to Oh, take I thought a, your calculations were wrong. So you want to take an overall poll? Yeah. Kevin, I was going to give it to you, but you want to actually make it official? Kevin, Kevin. Are you sure about this? Just Dude, I'm giving you the option at this point, Kevin. We'll take your, um, your, whatever you just said. He just. So I will allow you to be the president of the elementary and you, Skyler, of the middle school. You shouldn't allow us. You guys. Because you already won. Why do you need to allow us? Because you already won. Kevin, winning is okay. one thing, being able to actually do it is another. So, like I said, I know, shaking your head, I, it's rough for Kevin. I know he's having a difficult time understanding. I think it's the blood flow. But, Kevin, it's yours. All right? Congratulations to both of you. I hope and I am extremely confident in both of these two and think that they will fulfill the duties of the presidency just fine. Dragons, have a good day. Thank you. That'll be all for today's morning announcements. Have a wonderful day. Go.